Okay, so turn two. What I like to do on turn two is flatten the card a little bit, just for a split second, so we get flat, and then... Well, let's say the first thing, is I'm here, my eyes are right here on the apex. And once I'm sure I'm clear, about here, my eyes move up to this next apex. Now, what I'm looking for is for this front right wheel to meet about a 45 degree angle to the turn, wherever that happens to be. And bam, it's about here. Now, the next thing you want to do, your eyes stay on the apex. But you want, for this turn, because it's so, such a slow turn and you're under acceleration out of turn one, there's a lot of rear bias at this point, which means the back front wheels are, are, are planted firmly on the ground. If you want a fast turn through this next turn and through the next section, you have to somehow find a way to get that back right wheel to lift off the ground. So to do that, we lean out to the left as much as we can. We, we start pushing in firmly with our heel into the, um, the accelerator. And right about here, we do a big snap on the wheel. Bam! See that? In just three frames, we've gone from straight to almost full lock. One, two, three. Boom. And then, note my hand releases the pressure just slightly. So it's, it's full lock, and then back just slightly. And what we're trying to do there is stop the cart from, uh, from sliding. So if we do a big snap like that, bam, then we release a bit and we catch it. My eyes are on the apex and at the snap in, I start aiming my inside tire right at the apex and I just hold that steady all the way through this turn. Once the turn is done, my goal is to keep this, my hands as steady as possible. I might have to do a little adjustment, but still as steady as possible. I'm doing slight micro pressure adjustments through that turn. 